asking, what is the origin of Iran and Venezuela's close relationship? I was struck by the news of disagreement, and the agreement is Iran to use 1 million hectares of land in Venezuela to grow food. All right, so I have the news article. Thank you to Gusele Kuchik for actually providing the news article. But before I check it out here on air, I wanted to say that the, the, I think, I think a lot of you have guessed what is the reason behind the behind close relationship between Iran and Venezuela is their anti-American sentiment and their positioning against the United States. That is what's bringing them close together. And this is basically what brings Iran, Venezuela, Russia, and China all close together and Syria, right? Is their position not just against the United States, but against the um, world liberal order, right? So they have, but again, China is also invested in the world liberal order. So it's kind of like hit and miss, but Venezuela is isolated in, in more in a more in a position closer to Iran, right? It's under economic sanctions and under a lot of you know United States trying to uh, sometimes making moves against the regime in Venezuela, like in the same way in Iran. So Iran and Venezuela see a lot in common when it comes to taking positions against the United States. So there's there's a lot of room for you know, cooperation. However, it's, it, this is like, if this shocked you, if this 1 million hectares um, has shocked you, I have to show you something even more shocking, right? So do you think this is significant? Watch this. Okay, so this is the news that you sent me, which we could share, which we could read live on air. So this one is Iran to use 1 million hectares of land in Venezuela to grow food. But this is something even more significant is this. Uh, Iran, China, Russia set to hold joint military, joint militarily, military, well, I can't speak today, drills in Latin America. Okay. In Latin America. And again, this is because, so Venezuela is not the only country in Latin America where Iran is getting closer to, right? So I could read this article as well. This is Iran is making a heavy push um, in Latin America. And, and this is the first time, this is the first time I think Iran has ma managed to get this close to United States. Iranian military has never been this close to the United States. This is, I don't know why this is not being covered. I, the only place, the only place I could really find this is on Press TV, which is this is Iranian. Uh, I, I mean, I verified that this is true because I saw on Iran International this was covered as well. But the only online place that I could find that is covering this news is Press TV right now. But this is major. Like, I don't know why this is not. Why the alarms are not being rang right now over this? Like, this is this is huge. Like, I don't know if any in the history of United States have you had ever an enemy officially do military drills and an official enemy of the United States have military drills this close to home, right? So let me actually read this. Iran, China, and Russia are set to take part in joint military ma maneuvers hosted by Venezuela. Okay, so this is the reason why uh, this military uh, maneuvers are related to this earlier news that um, that that was being asked is because this is being hosted by Venezuela. Like Venezuela is making this possible, right? Because officially this is legal. Because Venezuela, if Venezuela is like allowing you, like because people like how could United States allow this? Well, the question is how could United States stop this? This is legal under international law. Like it, Venezuela is hosting them. And Iran is taking its military into, and this shows that how significant it is for Venezuela to be working, being to be working with Iran. It makes it legally possible for Iran to send its military all the way this close to U.S. borders, right? Like legally, you know, under international law, there's there's nothing you could do about this, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, see, D, like even D in the live chat, who is follows the news, like stuff like this. She she hasn't heard about this. This is huge, guys. You're Americans. Iran, the Islamic Republic of Iran's military is this close to you. Do you understand? And this is Iran as a country that is potentially going to be a nuclear power, and they having drills right, right, right close to Iranian borders, to American borders. I don't. This this is this should be headline news everywhere. I don't understand. So say I could. So I'm not going to read the rest of this. I just want to read the other news that. Um, the question was originally was about here. Yeah, let me highlight the question again. An Iranian official says that Venezuela has agreed to provide one million hectares of agricultural ag agricultural land for Iran's overseas cultiva cultivation projects to secure food. Announcing the agreement. So, guys, by the way, it's not just this. It's not just this, and also this. Um, this these drills here. It there's a the ties between Venezuela and Iran has been going on for a couple of years. They're a lot deeper than this. Like they are, I don't know. They are so many different uh, chains. Like, um, I don't know what they're called. Like mall chains that from with Iranian brands that are being um, made in Venezuela. And also in Latin America as a whole, Shia Islam, there are a lot of imams being sent to Latin America to try to, um, you know, try to spread that Iranian Iranian versions of Shia Islam uh, in Latin America. I actually had a debate with uh, an imam, I Iranian imam in Latin America, like a, one of the imams that was sent by the Iranian regime to Latin America to spread Iranian uh, Shia ideology. By, by the way, the reason why I say Iranian Shia ideology, because Shia Islam has, there's an Iranian version of that. I had a debate with that guy on in Persian on Clubhouse. So this is like a major move. And again, these are investments that the Iranian government is making in Latin America that is going to eventually, like the results of this are going to be uh, felt in, in decades to come, right? And Iran always had a presence in Latin America. Like imagine Iranian presence in uh, Argentina and uh, terrorist attacks that they did over there but now they're making a more strategic approach um, and also they they are in they are very close to some latin americans politicians as well like some of them uh, are actively being supported and funded by iran by the iranian regime this is why uh, recently when the plane iranian plane was uh, stopped in latin america there was you could see the politicians some of them were trying to defend the Islamic Republic of Iran because some of them it's this is something that is going like I think it's not being covered by English media that much but in a couple of years I think the results of these investments by Iran Iran is investing both in Latin America but also in Africa and I think like the result of this in a, in a decade or two or maybe even earlier is going to eventually lead to things that has to become headline news but Anyways, like just be aware of this that this is happening and slowly, like for example, Iran invested a lot of resources in the Middle East, and eventually, you saw that how much control they have they have eventually had over Iraqi politics today and Lebanon politics today, right? So, this is like they're doing the same thing now for the future, but they have a long term these are long-term plans and you could see like similar things eventually happening in Africa and, and in Latin America. So just be aware of this. This is important. Oh, Idris is here. Hi, Idris. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Qasem is talking about who, Hugo Chavez, his mom, uh, with, which got a hug from Iranian former president Ahmadinejad, which was which got a lot of criticism in back in Iran by a lot of religious people because, you know, you're not supposed to hug a woman. Islamically, yes, that's, that's illegal. That's haram. If you'd like to send me your questions for me to answer during our Q&As, become a patron. If you would like to have a discussion with me live on air at the end of the Q&As, become a YouTube member. Link to both is in the description. Thank you for your support.